Good morning, dudes. How is it going? Welcome to this shortcast thingy of a game that I just kind of joined with players that nobody knows because actually we might know. Let's actually take a look. Maybe we know one of them. So we do have uh, 10 straight loss and a muted, no, muted, muted. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so just a bunch of douchebags that nobody should ever know and are definitely not worthy knowing anyways. So, <laughs> in the meantime, yeah, it's really late. I tried to record a Balmy place for you. I uh, tried two games and I couldn't get it done. So, sorry about that. We're going to do a shoutcast today. And I'm actually hoping it's a short one because uh, I'm, I'm tired. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the game, shall we? Let's take a look at... Uh, yes, I know it started already, but I don't know. It just was the only one that wasn't like 40 minutes into it, so I felt like this one was the most appropriate. I also didn't feel like doing a pro game. I don't know, I like these pub games, they're really entertaining. Because the players kind of give a fuck, but they also kind of don't, so... They tend to do stupid things. Like, the players in competitive, they're all about, a te about, about being a team. These players, they're all about being muted, which means they are fucking assholes. And as a result, they don't care about the team. Because what the hell is, is a team good for? I don't know. Like, fuck my team. What what good is a team in a team game? <laughs> like, seriously, who the hell would use cards in, ca in cards game, card games? Like, fuck that shit. <laughs> Man. I don't like the strong mechanic. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> That's actually very, very much similar. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, let's take a look at the heroes, shall we? We've got an invoker. Oh, nice, a Quasic Sword invoker. That's really, really, really interesting. A lot of people like their Quasmax. I personally do approve of it. Of course, it's really good. But I like... Qu the thing is, you need to keep in mind, the, a big part of what I like is because of... Well, does it does it sound fun? Is it looks Does it look fun? Is it fun? <laughs> right, that's a big part of it for me. And uh, invoker... Quasic Sword is just much more fun than Qua uh, than than Quas Vex, so oh yeah, you go girl. I want to see somebody go Vex Sword. That sounds kind of funny. Oh well. Oh, he's got a double damage. He's gonna use the Cold Slap right here. Uh, Dazzle Solo Mid Dazzle. Uh, doesn't stand a chance against that. I don't think he's got the W. He did. He just didn't feel like using it. He even had an Invis. So apparently these players are not good. Today we learned that, <laughs> or maybe the Dazzle just stinks. Dazzle. Dazzle, dazzle, dazzle. I don't know why the dazzle is mid to begin with. Like, they've got the, the silencer at the top lane. I feel like the silencer would have a great matchup against Invoker. <sighs> oh, well. I don't know. I think I think a silencer should beat an Invoker. Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't know. Invoker doesn't really have the most spammable abilities. So, no, I don't know. But then again, I really like the dazzle. By the way, that's, not how, that's how you say it. You don't say dazzle. Screw that. It's dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh for shizzle, kissima, shizzle, fissima, this much is my dazzle, my dazzle, many some nice for kissel razzle for dazzle. Well that's just part of his name. Like he's got his name is kind of like Pi in that it always keeps on going and never finishes, but uh it is always unique and new. So yeah. Welcome to my world of Dota. In the meantime, we do have an Ember Spirit at the bottom lane. Going for the E, the Flame Guard. Uh, I've actually just played against an Ember Spirit and he trashed me going for the E, so I guess I've got to approve of that. And uh, what else do we have going on? We've got uh, Bane, we do have a Mirana, and uh, they're actually getting ganked Axe incoming. He uses the Battle Hunger. That's gonna do a little bit, but he doesn't have the Taunt yet, and I actually don't approve of that skill at all. In the meantime, the Dazzler uses the Shallow Grave. He's gonna get Sunstrike. That's not gonna kill him because, well, Shallow Grave, the. And uh, in the meantime, Axe, he doesn't have to taunt, he just can't do much, but actually he manages to snipe down the Miranda for some lucky spin procs. So, honestly, they weren't that lucky, right? If there are 10 creeps and 15 towers pounding into you, then can you really count that luck? It's kind of like, what if a tree falls in the forest? Can anybody really hear it? It's like, no. No, that actually doesn't make sense at all. That's not how that quote goes, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> and in the meantime, Terror Blade. Just going for the usual shenanigans. Actually, I'm not too happy with his skill build either. I don't know. I feel like he should max out the E. But maybe he didn't want to do that because he was like, yeah, I already, I just used it and I just leveled up. So. <coughs> ah. <coughs> ah, sorry. Man, it's been a long day. That's actually been really cold out as well. So, yeah. But. 
Um, I'm not gonna get to use Metamorphosis before I level up against again anyway, so might as well get the Conjurer image right now. Like, if I want to use an ability, then that's gonna be more powerful. That actually sounds reasonable. Right now that I think about it, like, that makes sense to me. It's just like, yeah, I'm, they're gonna be level 6 or 7 before I get to use the E again. So I might as well not skill it right now, get the Conjurer image again, which I would skill by that point anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that's okay. In the meantime, Ember Spirit. By the way, people, am I the only one that feels like Ember Spirit might might just need to get hit by the Nerf Hammer? Just a little bit, right? Not get hit by the Ban Hammer. We haven't gotten to that point yet. But just get hit by the Nerf Hammer. That sounds reasonable. I just, I don't think he's broken. I just think he's a little bit on the strong side. Like, he's so difficult to deal with. And and I've, I'm fine with heroes being difficult to deal with, right? In fact, the hero should be difficult to deal with. But that hero just kind of makes me feel like, uh, can I even deal with it at all? And that shouldn't be the... That shouldn't be the case. In the meantime, Bane is probably... No, actually, he's fine. Well, if you can't consider this, fine. No, he's dead. Wait. Wait. Oh, my God. No, it's not enough. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Axe actually manages to snatch him. Uses another battle hunger. I'm so not happy. Look, just one point into the E. Uh, not E. Q. Right, just one point into it. Uh, Berserker's Call is actually really good in that aspect. Like, it starts at 2, and then it only goes to 3.2. So... It start like like it does start at a really 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 high duration and doesn't scale that well. It's still worthy skilling up, but you don't need to max it. You just need one point into it, right? And really, how much does counter helix like scale? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but not really that much either. Personally, I feel like the right way to build axe, like if he was level seven, which he is, is one point into the Q, one point into the E, and then max out the battle hunger. I don't know. I like it. I think it works really well. But I guess whatever the hell you feel like doing is fine too. Yeah, Axe is one of those heroes where you can really just like smash your head on the keyboard and something nice is gonna come out of it. Actually, you got a lot of heroes like that, like Silencer and Dazzle. Yeah, with those heroes you can just be like, phase roll the keyboard and you're, <laughs> you're gonna get a skill build that's gonna work somehow, some way or another. So yeah. So yeah. But other than that, let me actually go ahead and take a look at GPMs. Oh, Mirana is winning. Huh, didn't didn't actually expect that. Wait, where, where are my creep kills? No. No. Wait. Ah, here we go. Here, it's late. <laughs> wait, how is Mirana? Ah, she got two kills. She got two... Wait, but Axe got... Those are neutrals, so they, don't, of course, don't count as much. Uh, but, wow, Axe is actually really low. Yeah, he got a lot of those easy camps. Those are not worth a lot of money. But then we got Darkseer in second place. I just got trashed by a Darkseer too. And Darkseer is so terribly annoying because of the constant iron shell spam. And you're just like, no, stop it. I'm trying to do things here. And Darkseer is like, nope, iron shell. I'm like, no. That's, by the way, that's exactly what that commentary just turned into. It was just like me going like, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I always think it's so weird when people assume that I just win every game. That's not the case at all. I feed a lot. I just don't upload those because those are boring to watch. In the meantime, this is like the mo most awful thing I've seen in my life. An invisible bane getting plagued by a freaking illusion bane. Holy balls. There's a cold snap coming out on the terror blade. He gets just murdered. And bane, yeah, he's out of mana. Dad, Curse of the Sun is really doing its job right there. Yep, two heroes don't really have that much. Dazzle coming in, but what can he do? I don't know, he, he's just not that powerful. He didn't get the ultimate, which I'm not happy with. I feel like he should do that. And I actually wonder what he's going for. He got himself null talisman. I feel like we have a Dazzle in the mid lane. You go for minus armor, right? You get that. You get that medal, yo. You get maybe some drums, right? So you can actually hit some people, and then you go for either the, the Desolator or the Aghanims, like something along those lines, but... I guess he didn't feel like doing that. Hmm... I don't know. Dazzle, Dazzle Mid is, is one of those things where it's just like, yeah, you know what you're doing. It's it's okay. Right? It's not amazing, though. And you know that. You didn't do this because you wanted to play, like, the greatest build you could possibly have done. Right? No, you're playing this because you felt like it. And in that case, come on, commit to your gimmick. Because that gimmick is really the only thing keeping you going at this point. Might as well. I don't know. 
In the meantime, Invoker coming in at the bottom lane, calls up coming out. The Sans are taking a lot of damage. Sun Strike gonna connect. Takes down the Sans uh, with a heavenly fury. And uh, well, Invoker is actually looking rather strong right here. If we go ahead and take another look at the yeah, the gold permanent, it's now majorly in favor of the Radiant. At first, I was actually very surprised to see both the the Darks here and the Axe rather high up there, but no, no, no. The Doom really starting to take over. He does have his Hand of Midas now. He does have the Devourer, so that's really the thing about Doom, right? He he just starts taking off once he gets to a certain point, and you know, this man certainly has gotten to that point already. And then we also got the Invoker, of course, doing really well for himself. He is uh, going for a Hand of Midas, I suspect. It's a rather late one. Yeah, it definitely is a rather late one. I wonder how long that has been on the career. Uh, I wonder if that's really that good to get it this late. Like, that's 13 minutes into the game. Uh, I don't think it's terrible. I think it's okay-ish, right? Like, Hand of Midas is one of those items. You can always make use of it. But honestly, the actually, the main reason why you're getting it on Invoker is the levels, right? You don't really care that much about the money. Like, Invoker is one of those heroes where as long as you got some good levels, right? As long as you're just in a much higher level than everybody else, as long as your experience per minute is on the top, which it is, so I guess he's doing a fine job there. But uh, then, you don't need to worry about things like... like money. Because why? You can just kill everything. <laughs> I don't know. Especially since he's going for a sword. Like, he's... And a meatball... A meatball in this game, and I'm hoping he doesn't max out cross. I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm hoping he's gonna max out the sword right here, which I think we can like we can safely assume he's gonna do that. And then afterwards, I want to see him go for Rex, because that's just gonna do a lot. Now, actually, something that's interesting is that he went for the power dreads and he's keeping them on intelligence, which uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know, usually you see either just brown boots, or the most common thing is actually the face boots. Um, I guess power threats is fine, but Invoker doesn't really have a good movement speed. Oh well, uh, Axe. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> man, that was mean. That was a lot of really powerful abilities for one man. Top tower taking a lot of pressure right here. Let's actually take a look at that. Ah, oh, those GPMs, they're not looking f They're not looking good at all. The problem is Terrorblade just doesn't have shit. And that hero needs to have items. So if he doesn't, then... Hmm. Like, what can he really do? On the other side, we got Doom. Going for Necromon. Oh my god. Necromonicum? That is so mean. Wait, can he eat the Necromonicums? I think you can only eat enemy creeps, right? You can't eat your own. No, that doesn't work. Huh, that would have been terrible if it would work. In the meantime, Dazzle goes down again. That fool is terrible. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's going for a Dagon. I believe this man has stopped caring. Might be why he's muted. Is he muted? No, he's not. Well, he might be muted after this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. In the meantime, Mid Tower taking a lot of pressure. Melbane is sitting there. Oh, that big taunt! The big taunt with the silences, which is a really, really terrible time to use the silence, actually. The thing is, like, when do you want to use the silence? Well, probably not while they are stunned, right? Because if you do that, then you don't really get much of a benefit out of the silence, but... That was stacking stuns to the extreme. Now, Doom coming out, and actually, wow. Yeah, that poor old axe didn't stand a chance. Now it's Terrorblade trying to beat somebody up, but he just can't get there. Actually, might be enough to get the Invoker. Invoker's really dropping. One more hit. Oh, he manages to finish him off. The movement speed. The movement speed. Where is he actually getting his movement speed from? Oh, right. Of course, the surge. The surge. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, of course, he's getting the movement speed from the surge. So, that was a decent fight for the Dyer. And they actually now applying a lot of pressure to the mid -town. Oh, 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 oh. The shackles. They connect. Wow. That big ultimate that was Thunder coming out. Dazzle still gonna get sacrificed and actually didn't go for a dug on. He went for four staff. That is much better. That is much better. That is really nice. I like that a lot. So yeah. And yes, actually that was a really lucky chain. Like they were like three creeps around and he got both the heroes. Ah <laughs> In the meantime, Axe. Oh, that's a dunk. Hell yeah. This guy? 
Huh, I guess he's doing fine now. I feel like early on in the game, he still would have been more useful if he had just gotten one point into the taunt, right? I saw at least three or four scenarios where just getting that stun would have been fantastic. But uh, right now, he's doing really well for his team. He does have that early blink, which is, did catch me by surprise. I actually didn't think he would have that already, but I guess he didn't really get any other items, so that's fine. So he did get that early blink. He does have... Um, um, what is it called? Ultimate or point booster? Yes, he does have that point booster, which is going to, of course, I suspect, build into an Aghanims. Could be a Bloodstone. I guess it's going to be an Aghanims. It's got to be an Aghanims, right? Uh, maybe Bloodstone. I don't know. Uh, I've seen both, right? And uh, I kind of can't see the, the reason for both. I just don't like the Bloodstone very much. Like, I, I've got to admit, like, if I was playing seriously, like, I assume these people are. <laughs> then I wouldn't get the, the Aghanims either, right? That's more of like a fun item. And actually, it appears that Invoker is going for a little bit of Rex early on. I like that. I think he should still max out the Exhort just to get the maximum damage. But maybe he did the math. Maybe I just I just don't know it. That might be right. But hey, uh, as long as he's getting uh, a Vex over Quas, I'm happy. Because I feel like that meatball. Ah, it's so nasty. So, so freaking nasty. And well, a pause. So we can use that pause to... Uh, actually, we can use the pause to leave ratings on the video. Press like buttons and do shit like that, right? Thank you, that's appreciated. In the meantime, we do have that bottom tower getting pressured. It's taking a lot of damage. I wonder if they can actually do anything. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big ultimate. That hit a lot of heroes. That weave is really cutting through the armor. Yep. Minus six, minus seven. They are below zero now, all of them. But it appears that uh, there's actually no follow-up, and that weave is just going to be off. And, ah, uh, that sucks. That was a fantastic ultimate, really fantastic. But actually, here we go, the Necromonicom's coming out. And, oh, Axe jumps in. Silence. Oh, Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit taking a lot of pressure. He will go down right here. The Donk coming out. But actually, those stupid Necrominiums, they're burning through a lot of mana. Oh, Deafening Blast, but is it really enough to do anything? The dots, the dots, the dots. Mirana taking a lot of pressure, but she manages to have enough mana, barely enough mana to leap away. So that actually turned out to be another fight in favor of uh, the Dire. But the thing is, right, they keep winning fights, and it's actually like, the thing is, like, experience is, they are fine in experience. Like, they're completely fine. It's looking good for them. But, this is just, ah, uh, right? That's a lot of money deficit. And, and, and you win fights, but the thing is, right, they won that fight. They got a bunch of kills. They chased them away, but the tower still went down. And that's still a lot of money in their pocket. Now, something you need to keep in mind about this graph right here. Oh, that's the wrong graph. Here we go. Something you need to keep in mind about this one is that, in fact, the Dyer is missing all three of their Tier 2 towers already. Those are done. While the Radiance still got this. So this is about, I don't know, 5k? A little less than 5k money that's not been gotten on the Dyer. And that's still just kind of waiting for them. And this is actually something that I I feel like is uh, kind of underappreciated, right? The value of tower kills and why that's actually not just secure money. In the meantime, Hex! Oh, that early, early Hex on the Darkseer. Yes, fantastic pick off on the Ember Spirit. In the meantime, Darkseer getting doomed. He will go down. Doesn't stand a chance. Oh, that arrow! Yep, that's picked off, and now it's just Bane and Doom chasing down an axe. I believe the axe should be fine, but that was still a fantastic fight. Amber Spirit still went down, though. Right, Amber Spirit still went down. Might not be as good as they originally fought in boss. Though the fingers actually going to be able to take down Morshawn right here, which is, of course, amazing. Now Necromonicum level 3 on the Doom. Necromonicum level 2 on the... Invoker, actually, it's level 3. He can afford level 3. And we're going to have a Necromonicum level 1 on the Bane. And uh, I guess a Mijol Neo on the Mirana, which is really disappointing. And just a Battle Fury and the Amber Spirit. So that's at least 3 heroes going for the Necromonicums. That's really damn cute. Meantime, Top Tower actually went down. Did it go to... Yes, it did go to the Radiant. Wait, no. 
Ah, I did go to the die. What, what am I thinking? I'm oh, sorry, it's late. Okay, people, I've been awake for too long. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really trying my hardest. Okay. So, yeah. But uh, the, the, the Terror Blade is... Yeah, he's not, no, it's just like, uh, well, uh, he is getting kind of scary like that hero. I fear Terror Blade. Like that hero, look, there are two heroes in this game where I'm really, really just afraid of them. Because first of all, I don't know how to deal with them. And secondly, they are ju I've just seen them scary shit. Where I'm like, wow, did you really just do that? Holy shit. <laughs> right. Terror Blade is one of them. The other is actually Ember Spirit. Now, Ember Spirit is not doing well this game, but to me, that barely means anything because I've seen Ember Spirit do terrible early game and then still just come back like a freaking beast. So, yeah. By the way, this is, I guess this is more of like an actual shoutcast. Do you enjoy this? Is this is this enjoyable for you? Leave a comment about that down below. I would really like to know if you like these or if you prefer something that's more casual, something that's more... I guess funny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> no, I don't know. You get the idea, right? In the meantime, in Walker, uh, what is he looking at? He does have the Necromonic on level 3 and another 1600 gold saved up. I would not be surprised if he goes for the Aghanims now. Though, I've seen a lot of Invoker not actually get that. Right. So, that's a little bit iffy, right? I don't know if he's gonna get the Aghanims, if he's gonna go for the Sheepstick, which seems to be the more popular item build. Either way, I feel like it is fine. I do like the Aghanims a lot, though. I think that's a really fantastic, really, really fantastic uh, item to get, because you can just spam so much. It's beautiful. It's so much fun to play with. <laughs> it is so much fun to play with. Now, actually, let me go ahead and... Uh, show you something this tower and this tower they are up for grabs right now because they use their glyph i don't know why they did probably a misclick right somebody click oh that big thunder that big thunder about the tornado the tornado with the meatball doom coming out oh 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 terror blade is probably done for in the meantime silence and all of the necromonicums they're just spreading around terror blade goes down picked off by the invoker i guess that was actually his necromonicum yes he killed the Necromonico minion. I guess he wanted a little bit more farm. I actually feel like that might have been a reasonable decision. Oh, Sunstrike is not going to connect. But the thing is, those big Necromonico minions are worth 200 gold apiece. That's a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of money. Like, seriously, that's a ton. And... He got... He got that before he died. The thing is, he, he fed himself to Invoke, which of course isn't that great. But otherwise, he would have just died and lost money. And this way, it wasn't that bad for him. So I guess that's fine. And actually, that's an interesting question to ask. Like, think about this. Is it okay? Like, is it okay to say, I don't care if he's getting money. I don't care if he's getting farmed. I just worry about me getting money. I just worry about me getting farmed. Like, in what scenario is saying that okay? Right? If you're playing... An anti-mage. An enemy team god. I guess a dazzle. I guess it's okay if the dazzle gets money, right? Like, if you trade, okay. I am going to get farmed. And the dazzle will, will also get farmed. That's okay. I can deal with that. Like, I'm going to win that fight every time. Now, I wonder if it's the same for Invoker and Terror Blade. Probably not. Like, you probably don't want to take a trade like this, especially since it's slightly favorable for the Invoker. Huh. Inter that's, an, that's an interesting question to pose, actually. I think that's really fascinating. In the meantime, oh, the Necromonicom's getting popped. Ah, the base is under pressure. And I don't actually I don't actually know if they can deal with this. Oh, Axe. Actually, no, this wasn't Axe. Ooh, Doom coming out on the dark sea. Axe actually going in this time. Doom is taunted by, holy shit, e Meatball just tears, just tears a Axe apart. And, well, a nice Thunder saves the Terror Blade, but really, is that enough? Uh, yeah, that base tower is going down. The base tower is done. Meantime, oh, he does have the Metamorphosis, uh, Metamorphosis going now. And, oh my god, look at his damage. Doom, 
might be done, might also not be. Ah, it's such a problem, thanks to that that uh, that sleep. But no, silence is coming out, and Invoker goes down. Yeah, Ember, Ember Spirit just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor guy he doesn't stand a chance. And so, in fact, it actually still ended up being an okay fight for the die. And they're going to pick off the Bane, too. Triple kill for the silencer. The support coming through. Hell yeah, girl, you go. <laughs> you go, girl. That's amazing. Oh, man, I'm so happy for the silencer. I always get so upset. When I see a support just go, just do terribly, and in this game, that's just not the case at all. So, uh, but, but let's go ahead and open up. Actually, let's go ahead and open up this. Is this more interesting than a god per minute? Probably. In the meantime, oh, sheep coming out on the invoker. Invoker taking a ton of damage to beef as well, and he goes down, manages to throw down another tornado before he drops. But it's really just not enough. And that's a lot of illusions pressuring just one tower. Nice thing about those illusions is that they can kill those Necromonicoms, right? Because you're not going to take the damage, the illusion will take the damage. So you actually don't have to worry about that. Yes, you lose the illusion. But honestly, trading one of those illusions for a Necromonicom minion? Yeah, I'm up for that. Like, I would do that all day, every day. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Terror Blade right here has a choice to make. Does he go for more tanking power or does he go for more damage? Like, he could just go straight Butterfly. Which would be an interesting decision. You could also get uh, what I feel like would maybe be a little bit safer, a little bit uh, maybe stronger in general. Uh, Escali would be really nice. Like I would like that. The thing about Escali is is that it still makes him useful even if he's doomed. So it, it does give him that a added survivability. It boosts boosts up his illusions, and also also allows him to slow people even when doomed. So. I feel like that's gonna be that's gonna be a good a good item if he's going for it. Uh, what is what did he just pick up? What, well, he just bought something. Oh man, what did he buy? What did he buy? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, oh, yeah, Reaver. No, that was actually option number three. Heart. He could just get a heart. Uh, I personally like the Scotty a little more. Though the Scotty, of course, gives you some less HP, and actually that could also be life steal. And he could still build this. That's actually that's actually an interesting idea. That he builds a big life steal, or maybe he just got the reaver for the HP, and then builds a Scardi as well. Because on a ranged hero, you can have Scardi and life steal. That is a combination that works, right? On mini heroes, not possible. You can't have both. On ranged heroes, that is allowed. And uh, I mean, what the hell would you not? If you can, seems reasonable to me. I would. <laughs> Oh, the Shiva coming out. And actually, oh my god, Metamorphosis used. That's a huge ability. It lasts for quite a while. So, as long as the fight happens anytime soon. But honestly, if I was on the Radiant right here, I would just chill back. Way too creep face. Relax. Right? Keep it calm. Be ready for a fight. But don't force that fight right now. Wait for the Metamorphosis to wear out. It got a 140 second cooldown. That is long. That is troublesome long, right? That is so long that it's just like, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so. Axe, in the meantime, going in, gets doomed immediately. And, oh, the silence coming out. Now, they did not wait for Terror Blade's ultimate. Well, it's not really his ultimate, but you get the idea. His metamorphosis to me. Oh, the meatball, the deafening blast. Burning through the Terror Blade. Man, he got barely any HP left. He's not gonna go in there and actually wait. Don't, don't kill that. Yes, the illusion is going to take care of that. Okay, that's fine. And oh, this is not looking good. Axe jumps in once more. He does have that blade man, so he's actually putting out a lot of pressure. But in the meantime, oh, Bane went down. Bane went down. Terror blade. Yeah, the thunder being the key ability right here. I guess that's that's still his true ultimate, and uh, for a reason. <laughs> oh, that arrow. I have seen those arrows sneak through hundreds of enemy units, through hundreds of creeps to just connect with that terror blade. Those have been absolutely fantastic. Now, another Shiva getting used, and oh, the taunt! The taunt with the blade mail. Now, sadly, Doom doesn't really have the highest DPS in terms of attacks, and oh my god, terror blade dropping. Terror blade might be done. Invoker trying to snipe him off. Does he have a Sunstrike ready? 
he doesn't have the mana. And oh, the Sunder! Oh my god, the big, big place! The big place! He could have even turned that onto the Doom if he really felt like it, but I guess he didn't. So that's fine. <laughs> Man, that was amazing, though! The big Sunder! Saving him! Holy shit! And now he's got a lot of money. I wonder what he's building. Whatever he is building, he can't get it right now. Or maybe he just wants to secure that he's got enough money for a buyback. Actually, no, I don't believe that. Like, this doesn't seem like the kind of player to do that. So, what is, what is, that's, yeah, that's definitely hard. So, uh, I get it. I think that's an okay decision. Though, um, next, it's got to be some damage, right? Get crits, maybe, or butterfly. S I guess even the, the MKB, though I'm not the biggest fan of that. Honestly, I would get a butterfly this game. They got a decent amount of physical damage, and uh, it just adds so much to illusions. That yeah, I'm quite in favor of that. But hey, whatever he does get, I sh it should be fine because he's really powerful right now. Really, really powerful. And actually, let's take a look at these graphs again. Hell yeah, that gold difference is dropping. The sig significant, significant lead in terms of experience. So actually, no, it's not that significant. Oh, it's, 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 it's kind of a big deal. It's not, not crazy. Okay, well, let me take that back. This is just still a lead, though. In the meantime, Roshan getting taken down. Arrow. Oh my god, sneaking! Sneaking through. Actually, like, two trees to get to Terror Blade. But that's fine. And now, oh, they're going on to the Miranda. Oh, the dunk! Just picking her off. She didn't stand a chance. Agnes was actually the choice of item on that axe. And he might just want to dunk there. Oh my god, the second dunk. Double kill coming out for the axe. In the meantime, we've got a fight up here. Doom getting chased down. He does have that Necromonicum active, but actually will get chased down. And look at that axe showing the balls of steel. <laughs> and he doesn't get the triple dunk, but that's fine. For he still showed all of us that he is, in fact, a true man. Now, we need to keep in mind, he did actually have the edges. But I don't care, for you are still accepted into the circle of man. Yes, indeed. Man, that, that was cool. I like that. That was one hell of a blink. <laughs> Man, if the Dark Seer wasn't there, he was done for sure. But hey, maybe he knew that the Hex was coming out. He was just trying to get a little bit of additional damage in. Or maybe just steal it. That sounds reasonable too. <laughs> so yeah. In the meantime... Oh, look at this guy. I like Dark Seer, what he's doing this game. This is so cool. Just going for Bling, Sheepstick, Shiba. Like this is saying, team, I'm gonna help you. Team... We're gonna win this. Team, I'm not gonna be the one to win this. I will make sure you can. But I won't be the one. And that is a mentality you need to have. If you're looking to win this game, if you're looking to win a Dota, never believe that you are the one to win it. Because you probably aren't. It's probably somebody else. And in fact, it always is. And I can't tell you who that other person is. It's every single player on your team. <laughs> Because nobody can win on their own. Well, sometimes. Sometimes that's possible. But most of the time it's not. Now, does he actually have the butterfly done? No, not anywhere close to that. But he kind of realizes uh, that they do have a lot of physical damage. So he went for the talisman of the evasion. Which, if you think about it, what it does it is it reduces physical damage by 25%. Which, that's insanely good, right? That's absurd. That's really fantastic. And it doesn't seem like anybody got an MKB. Like, uh, Mirana, not going for it. Uh, she got a Mithril Hammer. I actually wonder what that's going to be for. Probably a Desolator of, of sorts. So she go ahead and take a look at that. She doesn't seem to have, have anything. Uh, it could be a BKB. Yeah, I actually think it would be a BKB. That sounds reasonable. We do have crits. Like the first, first part of crits on Ember Spirit. So that's nice. Bane. Necromonicum level 2. And oh, 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 we do have a doom on somebody. Oh my god. But it's just a silencer. And the search comes out and gets him away from that. So, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the Dyer is just like, fuck it. Let's make something happen right now. <laughs> Would be interesting to say. Would be very interesting to see. Oh, and actually, Agonims on the Invoker as well. I like that. That's a good idea. Good decision. What else do we have? Though maybe the sheep stick would be better. Uh, getting the, the problem of sheeping a terror blade is that there are so many of them. You're like, which, which one? Which one? <laughs> which one do I sheep? Which one? God damn it! And then you died. Yeah, that sucks. 
Axe in the meantime, he's going for, I assume, an Assault Kuros. Could be a Shiva too. I don't know, but they already got a Shiva, so I would be surprised if it's Dan. Um, we've got Sansa going for, I suppose, an Aghanim, so I'm actually not too happy with that. I don't know, Aghanim doesn't seem like the type of item you want to get. You want to get this game. That's okay, but I don't, even, I don't think it's too amazing. And Dazzle. He's got his Aghanim, so that's okay. But everything else just seems a little a little pointless. Honestly, how much does the Aghanims actually do? Like, uh, it's seven seconds, right? And it applies this. So that's uh, 65 damage times seven. That's 300, uh, 325, and another, like, uh, 130, 455 damage to everybody. And uh, about the half of that, like 200, 220 or something mana drain. I don't know. I'm not too sure if that's too amazing, right? It's like it's like okay, but is it really that grand? Is it really worth getting that over? I don't know. A BKB maybe a word of Atos, a force staff. Hmm. Sheep stick, possibly. I don't think so. I don't think so. Honestly, the silence of Aghanims is not something that impressed me very much. It's like, yeah, I don't know. This does what it's supposed to do, right? It's kind of cute, but is it really that good? Doesn't seem like it to me. I look at Amber Spirit, trying to make something happen. <laughs> Hoping for some God-given luck, but not today, fool. Not today. Now, Terrorplay is actually getting dangerously close to finishing up his... His butterfly, and uh, I would hope they are just going to wait for that, because that's a huge increase in power. But it doesn't appear they will. So they're just looking to make something happen now. I feel like that's a little bit rushed. I just wait for the butterfly, right? But actually, uh, Roshan is going to reclaim that just in a bit. Axe charging in, knowing that it won't last very long. Yeah, tornado. And actually, a silence coming out. Meatball is already rolling. Does it steal a little bit of damage? And oh, the vacuum! Only hits one hero. Only hits one hero. Thought that one hero is taking a lot of pressure. In the meantime, Doom. Doom's the Dazzle. Dazzle's kind of okay, though, because, like, who the hell cares about him, anyways? Axe gets hit by Nero. So he is kind of out for a bit of the fight. And Emmerspirit actually manages to pick off the Dark Seer. Now, in the meantime, we do have just a giant mess of abilities. Honestly, what the hell is happening? I guess that's fine in the meantime. Oh, 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 Miranda might drop to the da dot. Uh, no, she should be fine. Yes, she is fine in the meantime. Tornado connects with nothing, and it appears that's just going to be the end of the fight. Actually, Tarot Blade is still around, and he still wants to make something happen. He can't cancel that ultimate. Not ultimate, but that stupid sleep using one of his illusions, but... Uh, uh, okay, good. So, they're going to fall back. Nice defense coming out from the Radiant. Actually, Rama fantastic, but... Ha! Huh, it's still... It's still... Still not over. Man, I was asking for a quick one! <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting actually dead tired now. Oh, well. Oh, well. I believe I got three days of no work next week, though. Yes! That sounds amazing, does it not? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I can really record a lot for you. And ah, uh, Dark Souls 2 is coming up. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy. No, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, actually a problem I've seen is that a lot of these heroes, they haven't really had any, like, they, they're not ahead. Like, we didn't check, right, if they are ahead in money. We could calculate the net worth, I'm not gonna. But they're not. Told ya, they're behind now. Mmm, knew it. And experience is actually looking pretty nasty. <sighs> the thing is, they have not been getting any new items, right? Like, he had this item set for a while. She had this for a while. Doom? Oh, well, okay, I guess he doesn't count. Like, he's fucking Doom. Ember Spirit? Yeah, he has had this. Like, I remember these items. That's not really what you're looking for, right? You're looking to get... To, to continuously get more, and they are just not. And... That's an issue. And now, oh my god, Bane just getting destroyed. Not even a chance. But, hmm. Can they now push? The butterfly is done. So, Terrorblade is scary as fuck. <laughs> Look at this fucker. Seriously, like, that's just. That's an army of death. Wow. 
Anybody got any mana boots? No, actually. Actually, it appears nobody got mana boots. Oh, that sucks. That poor fellow. Tower? Gonna take a bit of... Tr no, no, actually, I'm not gonna go onto the tower yet. It appears they want to take this... Uh, yeah, they want to beat down their heroes first in Woke. Taking a lot of pressure. But no, no, no. Doom coming out onto the Dazzler again. So he really doesn't like that guy, apparently. Silence. But not really any any follow-up or anything, right? Still, that's keeping them away. It's disabling them. They can't fight. Like, they have taken away their weapons. And uh, what can they do? But still, they managed to hold on. They still managed to push them away. So, yeah. Hmm. I feel like that was a lot of unnecessary... Like, they, they used a lot of abilities in a way that just wasn't necessary. You didn't have to use it then and there. And honestly, you shouldn't have. Because you've got a bunch of very important abilities. All of you do. So make them count. Anyways, I'm interested to see what the terror play is going to go for next. I assume it will be some sort of damage item. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> the Crystallus. So, obviously, a data loss coming up. That's a nice item to get on Illusion Heroes, because all of the Illusions do get the possibility of a crit. They don't get the bonus damage, but they still can crit, so that's neat. And a dunk coming out on the poor Ember Spirit. Oh, that poor fellow. Doesn't stand a chance at all! <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Like, I'm not even kidding. That guy, he, he's getting my feels, like all of them. And an arrow's flying. Links, uh, but uh, still no. oh, 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 Axe goes onto the Doom here. Invisibility coming out though. Nighttime. Moonlight shadow hitting. And uh, no tornado. Tornado deafening blast, but uh, Daxia is still fine. Daxia is still alive, and he's gonna be alive for a little bit longer. Doom sitting in the middle of it trying to doom something, but he didn't get it off. And now he's actually dropping! He's dropping! He did get the Doom off. He did get the Doom off. That's that's a pretty large deal. And now Terror Blight will probably go down. He is slow. He is slow as hell. And that Doom manages to pick him off. So yes, indeed, it did matter. And it did matter a lot. That was a 2 for 2 Huh. Huh. Well. That didn't go well for them. That wasn't actually a 2 for 2 at all. It was a 1 for 2 Ember Spirit was that long before that. And he doesn't count anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, he does count. I still fear Ember Spirit. I really do. He might just come back and do something nasty. He always does. He always does. Man, this is a long game. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Farm with me. Did I talk about Fire Emblem yet? I don't actually remember. I might just do a review on that game. I probably will. Like, I've got a lot of things I want to tell you about it, but honestly, none of those really fit in anywhere in Balmy Play, so I thought, like, just a separate video for it would be interesting. But then again, nobody cares for anything that's not Dota, so what the hell? Oh, well. Oblivion Staff. That's a refresher, right? <laughs> yeah, because if he was going for an orchid, he would have it already. That's sake, going for a refresh. I don't like that. Nah, he should be going for a sheep stick right here. Like that's that's the smart item to get. I like the, I like the concept though of getting a refresher because that's just saying, yeah, fuck it. Look, nobody's getting anything done right here. Let me be the one to get it done. <laughs> In the meantime, Rashan getting attempted. The little, the little, little Necromonicom's already running into the general area, scouting on what's happening. Also, Sunstrike was used, and yes, more Necromonicom's coming around. Terrorblade uses the Metamorphosis, is charging into it now. Oh, tornado, meatball! No, it didn't really connect, but that well did it. And now Doom is silenced. He's trying to get something done, but he's taking so much damage. Is he going to be able to even use the Doom? Yes, indeed. He gets it off onto the Axe. Axe is trying to get away from this. Doom goes down. And Mosprit actually dealt a decent amount of damage here, but it's just not enough. Bane goes down. And that's a 2 for 0. Axe. Yeah, he's fine. Well, balls. And now Roshan is going down. Yeah, Roshan is going down for sure. Wow. 
And uh, Terrorblade, he will have his data loss. Yeah, she got it coming right here, right? No, not yet. Where's the courier? C come on, get that courier over there. Thank you. Well, actually, no, he got it coming. So. That's so fucking scary. Look at this. A data loss. And I just... Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. This game has actually been fantastic. Like, all things considered, I know I'm complaining about the fact that it's so long. But, hell, it's been a good one. So, a bunch of decent players, some really, really nice fights, some interesting items. I don't know, I've been enjoying myself. Though, I really need to go sleep. <laughs> oh, man. So. Tower is actually taking so much damage from that illusion. That's something that's always uh, worth noting, I feel. Is towers don't regen HP. So, if you just get one hit in on that tower at any point in the game, right? Later on, when you're actually looking to push, that's one less hit you got. You have to get in. So, doing something like that with the illusions, there's really nothing the Radiant can do about it. Right? They can try to kill the illusions, but the illusions are going to get like one hit in. Maybe two. And that's already enough to, yeah, to get a little bit of a dent into the tower. And then do that again, and do it again. In the meantime, Doom coming out onto the Darkseid. Darkseid didn't really get to use anything that fight, so that's kind of nasty. But honestly, there's no follow-up on that. Bane manages to barely survive. And seems that's just the end of the fight. Thing is, Darkseid will be fine. Like he's got a heart. He's got a scythe of vice. Hey, good to go. Hmm. And that Doom is down. They need to push now. I don't know why they are falling back. They do have all of the region in the world. This man needs to man the fuck up and go push. But I guess they don't feel like it. This was their opportunity. It really was. It was a great moment. They had rather full HP, rather full mana, they used the Silence of Ultimate, but who cares, right? That's okay, you can deal with their abilities even without that. Doom was on cooldown though, and that's a huge, huge ability to go, so. Well, maybe that was actually what made them uncomfortable. Just the fact that they used the Silence of Ultimate, that that was on cooldown, and they just didn't want to risk it. Which I guess is fine. In the meantime, refresh on Invoker. Ugh. <laughs> Man, man, man. Actually, I believe in Moka. Oh, yeah. He's got the set. He got the sexy hair. Yeah. He's got the sexy hair. Oh, my hair. Yeah. Oh, man. Wait, no, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Get those balls out of my face, in Moka. I want to take a look at your hair. Why do I why do I keep saying things like that? <laughs> Somebody's gonna make a terrible picture out of that eventually. <laughs> oh man. So <laughs> terrible blade. Yeah, he's got so much money, it's just like... <laughs> I guess he wants the TP boots, so if they fight and he dies twice, like he can buy back and come back into the fight. That seems a little little overkill, but I suppose that's fine. Look at that! They can't kill the illusion! Man, that's upsetting. Oh, and the metamorphosis is used. Oh, this is big. So, Terror Blade is looking to go in, and he's looking to do it right now. Oh, the meatballs! Deafening Blast, but it only hits Illusions. Still, that's kind of a big deal, but uh, that's probably not enough. Oh, nice Shackles. Still, nothing. Nothing to come out of this. They're just waiting for creeps, and... Oh, that tower goes down. The tower goes down. Terror Blade taking a lot of damage. 
The problem is they don't want to initiate on him. Right? They don't want to start the fight with killing the Terror Blade because he will be back. So they're using a lot of resources on nothing. Meantime, actually, Darkseer getting doomed. So that's a pretty nice, nice target. However, it's just look at this mess. They can't fight. They can't go in. Terror Blade so, so low. The Shadow Grave keeps him alive for a bit. He will... Oh, no! My god, they allowed him to get off the Sunder. That is ridiculous. And now Bane will go down. That should do it. That should probably do it. Yeah, oh my god. That, that crazy Sunder. That was insane. <laughs> and, uh, well. He's still trying to make something happen. But I think he's best off just finishing off the barracks. Actually, it doesn't seem like he wants to do that. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. They got one barracks. It was the mini barracks as well, so it's fine. Might as well just just leave, right? And uh, gold. Look at this. Uh, that's a that's a giant mountain slide. Like for fuck's sake! Like this is just continuously downhill, right? <laughs> this is just like from bad to worse. This, however, is like yes, uh, shit. <laughs> like you wake up. One day, and you're like, I woke up early, and I did it all on my own. Oh shit, it's Sunday. Oh fuck, you don't even have to work today. Oh fuck, fuck. All right, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Great, and now I'm gonna be tired. Oh well. I don't know. I, I'm actually not sure if that made any sense. <laughs> that was a bad example. <laughs> oh man. God damn it, game! <laughs> we have stopped going on for so long. <laughs> like, I've got the worst luck at picking these. Like, I'm just like, let's do a short one because honestly, these this looks one sided just from the hero's perspective. I like, just, I don't know, just from I saw from what I saw, we were doing the very first minute. It just seemed like the the radiant was gonna take it, but no, <laughs> that's not what happened at all. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh man, he's got a Scully now though, so that's neat. Look at this dude, he's maxed out. Like, there's nothing he can buy at this point. He's so powerful. Oh my god, he's a Oh my, look at this invoke here, just getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, nice error again. Terrible it's done for quite a while, but they execute Dunks the invoke here. So that's a huge player gun for the fight. And I don't believe he can buy back. No, he doesn't have the money. And I believe he used it earlier, so he doesn't even have the cooldown. That's Doom down, he didn't get off the Doom, so... That should be game. Oh my god. This guy. <laughs> yeah. They look, this puts the terror in the blade. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. And. Oh, I didn't get a crit. He's not gonna beat up the Doom. That poor guy didn't stand a chance. And. Uh, ba -ba. Doom actually appears to be fine. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, I thought he was dead for sure. Well, that tower is just... Wait, are they... They're going for the barracks instead. Okay, that's safer. Well, I'm not sure if they need to, per se. But I guess that's just what, that, what they're gonna stick with. So that's fine. Can't really judge them for doing this, right? And well... Here we go. Two barracks are down. They're rotating to the top now. They're ready to do this. And I might just be able to get it done before the respawns. Nah, they're not gonna get it done before the respawns happen. But before the fight happens, maybe. Uh, range barracks are dead. Yes. Mini barracks pretty low already. Oh, Terror Blade just focusing down the barracks. That's a fantastic choice. In the meantime, Axe. Oh, got picked off by the Doom now. And uh, actually, it appears that. Oh, no. Darkseer is fine. Darkseer is fine. Sunstrike. 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 Nope. Not enough. Close, though. Close, though. Close, though. In the meantime, Terror Blade. Wait, this guy is still alive? What the fuck? I guess he is gonna... Yeah, he's going down, though. Here we go. But, of course, Mega Creeps are already spawning. Like, these are not it, but here we go. <laughs> yeah. This is probably game. <laughs> as much as I don't want it to be that. No. No. As much as I want it to be that... It's also probably just game, because it's game, so, yeah. But man, this really did put the terror into the blade. <laughs> oh, man. He is gonna be dead for a while, though. 
So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait for him to respawn and then... Well, I guess that's the end of it. I guess that's the end of it. So. So, so, so. Do we have anything going on? No, 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 no. Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. We can deal with all of it. Every single bit of it. Because why the hell would we not be able to? I mean, we are man. Not quite as manly as the axe, because like he <laughs> he very clearly showed a, a decent amount of, of lack of fucks to give. <laughs> but hey, in the meantime, yeah, te <laughs> stupid Ember Spirit. He just that poor guy. Look, I'm not gonna blame him. Like you, sometimes just have a bad game, and then it just gets worse and worse. But let's be honest. Like he is what. One and eight. I actually thought that was gonna be worse, but he's like he's just not doing well. <laughs> Three hundred and sixty GPM. That's not a lot. Not at this point in the game. You should have more. Oh well. So the thing is, uh, a team this farmed and this far into the late game can probably survive against Mega Creeps, right? They can. They can live. They can just sit here and be able to keep keep them away. Those hearts are actually helping a lot. They might actually. How many do they have? I think just one, just one, but. Hey, that still helps, right? But uh, as soon as the uh, Rashawn is going down, here we go. They don't even take the edges. <laughs> like freaking Dazzle takes it. <laughs> We're gonna give the cheese to the to the uh, silence and yeah, they're gonna push. They're gonna finish. And the thing is, I talked about it earlier, right? But every single time one of those creeps get a, gets a hidden on a tower. That hit has been taken, and nothing will change that. Like, that's just the way of it, right? That's just what's gonna be the case now. And uh, eventually, they're gonna beat down your, your Ancient, and you can't really stop it. Like, it's gonna happen. You see? That's one hit. That's two. Tower? Didn't die? Well, it's gonna be dead soon. Here we go. Meantime, oh my god. Invoker just gets murdered. Buys back immediately, though, so he's ready to fight. And he does have that refresher, so he's going to be able to drop a lot of abilities. And um, actually, oh, 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 he uses it right here. A second meatball, but just a hex and a dunk. Yep, quick kills, easy kills, easy life, and that is game. So, yeah. Oh, my God, he used, he used the fiend script on the illusion. That's so, that must be so upsetting. It doesn't matter. It would still annoy me. <laughs> and here we go. Wait, what's going on here? Well, I guess we're just going to stick to this. Oh. This is weird. That shouldn't be the case. Oh, well. So, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. And then I'm going to go sleep. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. Hello there. Da, da, da. So, today's video would be... Uh, fire stick is hot. Yes. So, what do you win? I wonder. I wonder. You win a 42. So, uh, this is 30. This is 42. No, no, no. Here we go. Actually, wait. Yes. Spider. Spider thingy. If you want that, send me a message. If you don't, then that's fine too. Anyways, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep now. Okay, people? I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you tomorrow. Okay, leave comments. Make me happy. Leave ratings, leave comments and shit like that. Goodbye.